All right, so real quick, I want to show, I've had a lot of teachers ask me, here's what they've said. They said, I want to be able to have something on my computer screen, but then what shows up on my Apple TV not be the same thing. So you think about this. If I pull up an email or STI, the te I don't want the students in the class to see what I pulled up or the students on Zoom to see what I pulled up. I may be checking role. And it's really important that teachers protect personal, personally identifiable information of their students, especially when they're on Zoom or recording those Zooms. So what I want to show you here is how to make it where you can have STI or Canvas or anything on your computer, but the students in Zoom and the students in the class not see it. So right now you can see that my laptop is mirrored to the TV. When I go up here to the top right and I click, I have a couple options. I can mirror based on the retina display. And when I choose mirror based on retina display, it's setting the screen ratio up to match my monitor on my laptop. So you can see when I do that, there's black space right here and black space right here on the TV, right? But my laptop looks like it normally would. Now, if I choose mirror to B3, that's the name of the Apple TV, B3. So if I choose that, it's gonna change the screen ratio to fit the whole TV, but it's gonna adjust my computer screen so that I've got black on top and bottom, black empty space. But there's a third option that a lot of people don't know about. So when I click on the display when I'm mirror, I have this third option, use as a separate display. And what use as separate display do, does is it makes it where my computer screen, you can see has Google Chrome up, but my TV screen or my projector at school has nothing on it. Well, what I can do is I can take my Google Chrome and I can drag it over to my extended display. And so now you can see on my laptop, there's no window, but up here I've got Google Chrome, right? So now what this is, is it's like a second monitor. And then I can take and I can drag it back if I want to, and now it's back on my laptop. So you can see I'm dragging it back and forth between my projector or my TV and back over here to my laptop. So if I wanna show the students a Zoom video up here, I can have on my laptop STI. And the way I would do that is up here, I'm just gonna open a second tab and I'm gonna drag that tab out and I'm gonna drag it back onto my laptop. So now watch this. On my laptop, I'm gonna to go to CNN.com. And you can see on my laptop, I'm on CNN, but on my extended display, I'm not. So over here, I may wanna show the students a YouTube video. I can open YouTube.com. And you can see very clearly, over here I've got CNN open, over there I've got YouTube open. So that extended display option is a really good one. Now let me add to that. If you're running a Zoom, you only want the kids at home to see that display as well. So watch this, I'm gonna open Zoom. Now one of the hard things is you can see my mouse is on the extended display. I'm not seeing it on this display, so sometimes when you do this, it's hard to find that mouse. I gotta drag it back over, and now I'm seeing it on my computer screen. So I'm gonna open a Zoom, and I'm gonna do a new meeting, okay? And I'm gonna go share screen, but this time when I ask, it's asking me to share, it asks, do I want to share desktop one or desktop two? Now you can see at the top of my laptop is desktop one, and at the top of my extended display is desktop two. So I can say in Zoom, well, I only want to share desktop two out to the students. And so now the students are also only seeing what the kids in class are seeing, which is the desktop two. But here on my computer, I can check roll, do canvas, do grades, whatever I need to do, and the kids don't see what's here on my computer. So get on your laptop and mess around with extended display and see if that helps.